The ocean covers 71% of our planet, yet over 95% of it remains unexplored. There is a whole world of sound underwater that we are not normally aware of. In 1997, our ignorance of these mysterious ocean depths was made evident when a strange sound was recorded deep within the ocean, puzzling scientists and igniting the public's imagination. This underwater acoustic wonder became known as the bloop. In 1997, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, were running underwater acoustic research off the southern coast of Chile. And at the time, we had a number of these hydrophone moorings deployed just off of South America, looking for uh, volcanic activity on a long mountain chain uh, on the seafloor. The scientists were using hydrophones, which are just like regular microphones that are adapted to surviving the really high pressures underwater. And the data gets analyzed to look at what sounds happened over the past months or years that they recorded. While logging the data from the hydrophones, scientists noticed an unexpected acoustic pattern. It was one of the loudest noises ever recorded in the Earth's oceans a distinct sound that reminded scientists of a cartoonish bloop. It was kind of short like an earthquake, but didn't have a frequency range, and it was higher than normal signals. The moments like those for scientists are a combination of skepticism and also uh, excitement. The bloop was so remarkable, the same sound was recorded on another hydrophone over 3,000 kilometers away. Sound speed underwater is a function of three things. First, the temperature. So if you have warm water, sound travels faster because the molecules have more energy and they can vibrate and transmit the pressure wave faster. Salty water also travels sound faster. And then the high pressure, of course, so in the deep sea, you have a faster sound speed. In that deep sound channel, sound likes to get trapped because of the pressure and the temperature. You can think of this as being a path of least resistance or a tunnel that the sound gets trapped in and travels really far. So what could have produced this unprecedented phenomenon? In general, the soundscape is composed of the biological, so the animal vocalizations, uh, the natural or geophysical sounds, so anything that comes from the ground or from the surface, and then the anthropogenic sounds, which are the um, man-made noises. Some speculated that the military was conducting tests in the area, but a call to the Navy quickly put an end to that theory. So scientists turn their attention to the biological world for answers. Generally, low frequency sounds are associated with really big sources. So if you think in the animal world, the animal with the lowest frequency sounds are going to be the really big whales, the blue whale or the fin whale. The blue whale is the largest species ever known to have lived on Earth. They can grow to 105 feet long and weigh 200 tons. This incredible ocean creature is capable of projecting sounds 1,000 miles away. But the bloop echoed over three times farther than that distance. What this tells you is that whatever the origin was, it was something big. It was a big phenomenon that crossed it. In 2002, NOAA researcher Dr. Christopher Fox suggested the origin of the mysterious bloop could be biological. When the public heard this news, coupled with a recording of the bloop, speculation and conspiracy theories were rampant. People got excited about it possibly being a new species that we didn't know about, or some sea monster. Fans of H.P. Lovecraft were especially excited. His books described a fictional sea monster that lived near where the bloop originated. Readers speculated that the sound was caused by some unidentified sea creature. 
So while the imagination of the public is running wild, uh, in the lab, the scientists are doing the hard work and they are looking for explanations for this sound. But it would be almost 10 years before a team of scientists finally got a break in the case of the bloop. We started doing hydrophone research off the Antarctic Peninsula. We put a hydrophone array down around King George Island. We get the data back and we see that the sound of ice breaking and ice cracking is really, really a dominant source of sound in that southern ocean. NOAA researchers discovered striking similarities between the puzzling bloop and this frequent oceanic event. Scientists concluded that the bloop was originated by one of these ice quake movements. So as the temperatures warm up, movement happens within the glacier. So it's the same principle as the plates moving uh, on the bottom of the sea. These ice pieces are moving and they're scratching and uh, crashing into each other and creating noise. To the disappointment of many, the scientific community put theories of monstrous sea creatures and the mystery of the bloop to rest. For now.